Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use Synfig Studio. The first thing we'll do is we'll install it. You may not need to do this, but we'll just kind of run through this as practice. So to get to that far, you need to open up a terminal inside the menu. Terminal emulator is what you'll click on, and this is what you will see. Normally, you can hit the up arrow and cycle through the different commands that have already been made here. And so we want to install. And Synfig Studio is all one word. S-Y-N-F-I-G-S-T-U-D-I-O. So we see sudo apt-get install Synfig Studio. And I should get a message saying that it's installed. Password is Sailor, always Sailor, S-A-I-L-O-R. Yep, and I got a message saying it was installed, so I'll just go and get it. Synfig is in multimedia. Excuse me, graphics. I always go the wrong place. Synfig Studio is in the graphics and Synfig Studio. Once that open, we'll just go through the basics here. We want to create a bouncing ball. And the first thing we need to do is to create that bouncing ball. Uh, I'm just going to leave the colors as is. In most cases, this is just fine. We just want to get a simple project put together. Top left hand corner of the window is a circle tool. And we just draw in the middle of our canvas. Click and drag. I went to the middle of the window and I clicked the left mouse button and held it down as I dragged it just a little bit. When I let go, it creates the shape. Next thing we want to do is we want to put it into animate editing mode. And if this little guy down here is green, it's not in animate editing mode. It needs to be red. Click on that. It'll turn him red and we'll get this big red box around it so that we know what's going on. Next thing to look at is the timeline down here. In this timeline, we have about five seconds. This video is going to be about 24 frames per second. So you'll notice that there's a zero F. This corresponds to the frame we're on. As we click in this timeline and move along, you'll see that the frames are moving as well. 48 F is two seconds in. And so that's where we want things to move around. So I'm gonna take it back to zero. You can move this timeline around or type 0F and then change your tool to the arrow. Once you do that, all these little bounding handles are going to show up. And since we're in zero, we basically want this shape to stay right where it's at. I'm going to grab my shape, move it a little bit, but I'm going to move it right back and drop it. What this will do is it'll drop a keyframe right there. If you saw that, it uh, popped up right there at the bottom of the window. So now I need to move my timeline because I just need this ball to sit still until we got about two seconds in. And I don't want it to move yet either, but I do have to set a keyframe. There's a couple ways to do this. We could grab this ball, move it back and forth a little bit, or we can go in the keyframes tab down here and there's a plus sign add new keyframe and it will add it but just to be safe I'm gonna do that same thing I'm gonna grab my shape move it bring it back and drop it then I see my little diamond shows up now I need to get it to start bouncing so I'm going to move it about a few frames ahead, probably about, what's this, 72F. Now I'm going to grab my ball again, take it up to the top of the screen, drop it, and it'll set another keyframe. Now I'm going to move my timeline ahead a few more. So I'm at 96 frame, bring my ball down. Drop it right back where it was in the middle, or at least as close as I can get. 
move my timeline to the end and now we're just gonna act like we're knocking that ball out of the screen so we're just gonna go up at a little bit of an angle like that once I let go of it it'll set another keyframe so that's what our animation is gonna look like you can test it by rewinding and then play it's gonna be a little jerky but that's all right you get the basic idea and I've also done something dumb I haven't given it a name yet you want to do this first I always make the same mistake under file save as go to my documents folder find my name and this one is most commonly done in the project 4 project I'm going to call it bouncing ball bouncing ball call it bouncing ball animation I already have a few in there I hit save so now I have the project saved but now I need to create the individual frames and to do that I have to go to render it <clears throat> if you go to file go down to render it'll get you started we don't need to change much here except for the location so I'm gonna click on choose for the file name target file name click choose I'm gonna run through the uh, folders here again YHS documents my name project 04 and I need to have an image sequence folder just for giggles I'm gonna create another one you see there's some in there already bouncing ball images it's going to create a whole lot of pictures and so I need to make sure I can find them so the name is good it's in the right spot I'm Gonna hit OK and I don't touch anything else I just hit render and you'll see that it's rendering in this dialog box right here And when that gets done we'll use flow blade to put them together and with that rendered successful I'm going to save it one more time I'm going to close synfig and I'm going to go get flow blade under multimedia in flow blade we don't have a whole lot of steps to take we need to go get our image sequence we're gonna save this as a project in case I forget that again file save as and again this is gonna stay in my folder in the project 04 and this is going to be bouncing ball animation and it's an FLB this is a flow blade project FLB next thing I need to go get my images just need to tell them where they're at project add image sequence and I just need to go find the first frame that's what this dialog box is all about first frame click in gonna go through the whole thing again YHS documents Todd Carr project 04 and bouncing ball images is where I put them there's a lot of them all I need is the first one flow blade will find the rest click open hit OK it creates the clip and puts it right here you'll see it's five seconds long I just gra grab that and drag it down into the timeline. Click play to make sure it's working. Looks good. So the next thing we do is just need to render. Render is found right about in the middle. There's a number of tabs here. Go to 
render. And as always, I got to tell where to put it. File folder, other. Always go to other. Because that way you get to pick where it ends up. Documents. Here we go again. Todd Carr. Uh, Project 04. I can just leave it here on the top level in Project 04 because this is actually a finished video. Render type. We're going to leave that alone, but we're going to go to use project profile. HD 1080p 24. This looks good, but I, it needs a name, doesn't it? Movie bouncing ball dot mpg is what it will be called. The rest of it is just fine as well. We'll hit render. And then it should be done after it gets uh, done with this part. We will have a video that we can use to take in the studio and use the green screen to interact with it. With that complete, we can save this and close Flowblade. Yes. And lastly, we've got to find it to make sure that it actually did render it and that it works. Why Jess? Documents. Todd Carr. And it's in Project 04 called bouncingball.mpg right click probably open it with egg sign you know that one's gonna work maybe not of course not so we'll try it with parole. There we go. And we know it works. So then we save it on the USB drive. Then we can take it in the other room.